anyway, good morning, everybody. Shoot, it's afternoon already. Anyway, it's a wonderful day. I am running errands here. Uh, washing machine took a crap on me, so I got another one, and I'm heading to the, uh, the store to get the connectors for it, but I wanted to use a few moments to uh, ask you guys a question. So, for those of you who may know, I am in the automotive business, and um, I wonder why it is that uh, some people, this is about cars, we're going to talk about used cars here. When, when people are out to buy used cars, why would you go buy something that you would inevitably have to put tons of money in versus something that you could walk away with needing almost nothing? And I bring this up because uh, frequently I am either asked to consult on a purchase or, you know, or a repair after a purchase. And I'm wondering why at some point the allure of a cheap car that needs thousands of dollars of repair seems to take precedence off of an expensive ready-made used car. And uh, I'll give you a practical example. I have a customer who bought a $1,600 car. With a short order, not only did it need a transmission and some supplemental cooling system repairs, but then it comes to find out that it also needed an engine. All told now, this car uh, had been ridden hard and put away wet. I mean, it, 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 it was beat up. And you are now $3,600 into a car that isn't worth owning. A and this is before the engine repair. But my question is, I have seen three, four thousand dollar cars that will need nothing but oil changes. Nothing but oil changes. I've actually sold one. Nothing but oil changes for a complete year. And no, that's too much. So I'm just asking, what exactly is the motivation be trying, be behind trying to get the deal, the cheap deal, over, you know, I, I guess a mountain of, of, of future expenditures? All right, well... I uh, I don't know. I don't understand it. And maybe you guys can give me some insight. So, uh, you know who it is. My hand out.